Hey, meteorology students, Mr. Call here. We're doing, we're doing an activity here, a quick demo, to get you prepped for the lab of composition of the atmosphere. Our goal is to figure out how much oxygen is in the air around us. We already know the answer, but we want to try and prove it. So I'm going to show you a little quick activity that I used to do when I was younger when I probably should not have been playing with fire. Here's what we got. We have a fish tank here that's only partially filled up with water down on the bottom. I have a piece of paper here that's kind of been frayed at the top and folded so that I can set it on the water and it will float. I have some matches and I have a beaker here, a glass beaker. Take a look at what happens when we light the paper on fire float it in the water, and then I place the beaker over the top of that flaming piece of paper uh, so that it creates a seal around it. Super fail. Look at this. I couldn't even get it to burn. Let me try again. Hope I don't set off the fire alarm, right? There we go. That's a little bit better. Floating it in the water, capping it. Now, if you can see closely in enough detail, what you'll notice is that, first of all, the fire's out, right? It's not burning anymore. That flame has, has consumed all of the oxygen that's in that uh, beaker, and there's no more left. You run out of oxygen, the fire triangle tells us that you can't have fire anymore, right? But what happened there when the oxygen was gone, or I shouldn't say gone, it changed into something else, the atmosphere was trying to push more oxygen in towards that flame, but all of this water in this container got in the way. And so we actually have water that has begun to rise up the beaker and is at a very, very specific level, okay? The hint for you and for your lab is that how far the water goes up into that beaker has a very, very, very close representation of how much oxygen was there to begin with, okay? We'll refer back to this demo and to this idea uh, as we do our composition of the atmosphere lab.